Hey guys, I'm Marissa and welcome back to my channel. Here on my channel we talk about life and money and more importantly budgeting and I am a huge fan of budgeting because I believe that budgeting gives you the permission to spend. So today I'm sharing our August 2020 budget report with you, showing you all the income that we brought in this month and how we spent or saved every dollar in our budget. And I will also be sharing with you our net worth update, so stay tuned for that as well. But before we get into it, I wanna let you know the budget template that I will be using is actually one that you can get yourself as an instant download. I will have a link to that in the description box down below so you can check it out if you're interested. So without further ado, here's how the month of August went for us. So for the month of August, um, we are a family of three. We had a son in May, so I was working full time before I went on maternity leave and then I was on maternity leave and some of it was paid and then towards the end of it, it was not paid because I was using up sick and vacation time, which ran out like halfway through maternity leave. So for the month of August, I actually didn't make any money from my day job from my employer because I had ran out of sick and vacation time. That being said, this has been the lowest income month that we've experienced in the whole year um, because of that. But the good news is that I still have my business here on YouTube and everything I do online. So I was still able to bring in additional income for our household. Now I have decided to go back to work and I now am working um, part time. I'm only working 10 hours a week and it's all remote from home. So it's really not that big of a deal. So I'm really grateful that I will be bringing in a little bit extra from my employer, but um, my like main thing that I do is here online. So that being said, I have Jacob's income, my income and my business income individually blocked out. But again, I pay myself like a certain amount of salary for my business. And then I didn't make any money from my employer this month. So that's why I just have it all blocked out. But our total income for our household this month was $6,623. Oh, that's what we budgeted. And it was actually $6,683.57. Another big thing that happened this month was we are now all on my husband's insurance plan. So he was just on the plan himself up until we had Peter and then Peter got added to the plan. So then they were like on the spouse or on the employee and child plan. And then I turned 26. I was previously on my parents' insurance and now I turned 26 in July. So for this month, I'm now on my husband's insurance plan. So we're not on like the family insurance plan and it is not cheap. So there was a little differentiation of trying to figure out like how much the deduction would be for that. But now that we know, um, the actual amount of money that we brought home this month was $6,683.57. So now to show you where we allocated that all. So first off, we have our tithe. We are Christians and we believe in giving to our church and other organizations. So the first line item that we have is our tithe and that's what we give to our church every month at 10%. So we gave $670. Next we have is African New Life. We sponsor two children in Rwanda through African New Life and that is $78 a month. Then we support another missions organization for $40 a month. Next we have is our mortgage which was $23.98.60 and that is just standard. It is what it is and that was actually 36.22% of our take home pay which I don't love. I want this number to be closer to like 30%. But again, this was the lowest income that we've had, and so that'll just hopefully continue to go up. And then, therefore, bringing that percentage down when our income is higher. Next we have is our HOA. So we live in a neighborhood with the Homeowners Association, so we paid $121.46 to that this month. Then we have water and sewer, and um, this all together is $87.45. Next we have is natural gas. This month we spent $17.50 on natural gas. We have natural gas for heat in our house, for cooking, and then also for like to make hot water. So that was only $17.50. Since we're in the middle of summer, we're obviously not using a lot of it. Next we have is trash, and we actually pay this every other month, and so this month we had to pay it, and that was $58.72. And then next we have electric, and somehow I thought it was going to be 71, but we ended up paying 67.21. And I know that this is low, people have said that it's really low, but we do have central air, which it's obviously middle of summer, so we've been using, but um, we do live in Portland, Oregon, so <laughs> our summer is you know pretty mild compared to a lot of other places, but we do keep it at a nice temperature in here. We also do use like energy efficient light bulbs and everything in our house to try and reduce that energy cost. So basically, it's higher because of running air conditioning. And I don't know if you can hear Peter, but he is with my husband, so baby crying, he's being attended to. Next we have is our internet, which is $49.95 each month, and that's a standard. 
And then we have our phones. These are our cell phones. We pay $117.33 for both of our phones. And then we have car insurance. I was expecting this to be $172 almost, and it ended up being $106.84. I don't know how it got to be that low, but this is just for our two cars. <clears throat> Next we have is life insurance and we have two term life insurance policies and that made $52.89. Then we have groceries. We budgeted $300 and we actually spent $342.08. So we definitely went over on that. Where's the what time snap? 2.20 or 2.30? I don't know if that's it. It might be now. Okay. The next line item that we have is eating out. So we still don't feel comfortable like going out to a restaurant or anything right now. But we have done like takeout and curbside pickup. <laughs> Poor Peter, he's getting ready for a nap. And so we had budgeted $100 for eating out and that ended up being $47.99 of what we actually spent. Okay, I just got my son down for his nap. So <laughs> hopefully he will take a nice little nap and we can hurry up and finish this video. Okay, so the next line item that we have is gas for a car and we budgeted $40 and we ended up spending $34.34. And this is just one fill up since we are you know, still in the pandemic and have a newborn, we fill up our car once a month. We have two cars, but we only fill up one once a month. So 34, 34 is all we spent. Next we have is college. So we are now saving $200 a month for our son's 529 college savings plan. So we just send off $200 automa automated to withdraw and go into his savings plan. And the next line item that we have is miscellaneous. We budgeted $100 and we ended up spending $96.84 on miscellaneous. You always need a miscellaneous category in your budget because there's always something random that comes up and so this is where anything random goes. So we were right under budget there, which was actually pretty good. So all in all, we spent $4,587.20 on regular expenses. So now to show you our savings items, which is what I love because these are like all the all of the financial goals that we're working on and we did have some big big expenditures this this month as well so first off we have our emergency fund we have our emergency fund sitting in a high yield interest savings account with ally bank and so it earns a little bit of interest and high yield now is 0.8 percent so it was simply not much but better than just like our regular bank account so we earned 16 dollars 11 on that so we now have a little you know over twenty five thousand dollars sitting there then Jacob got $100 of personal spending money and so did I. He ended up spending $122 and then I actually got more money because my birthday was end of July and I am very thankful, but I've had relatives who've like gifted me, like, you know, grandma like sends me money and stuff like that. So for my birthday, so I had a little bit of that come in in August as well. So I actually added more to my account. I, since the pandemic, I just haven't like spent my own personal money. So I now have almost $900 in my personal fund. So got to figure out what to do with that. Next we have is extra giving. So we put $50 into this and we actually pulled 400 out of this. So we ended up buying the Snoo. If you don't know what the Snoo is, it is a smart bassinet that um, it it's amazing. So we actually started out renting it because our son, he would like would only sleep. <laughs> he would only want to sleep being held and for the last for like when he was like eight weeks old it became so much where i felt like it wasn't safe because i was falling asleep while also trying to hold him it just wasn't safe so we decided to rent the snoo and as soon as we had it for like two weeks we were like yeah we need this so we decided that we wanted to buy it and we actually it actually went on sale so we bought it on sale and we decided that um i looked at like the cost of it of you can use it for six months for a baby so if we have like at least two children then it'll pay for itself but also we wanted to get it to be able to give it and like loan it out to other friends who are having babies as like our gift to them to be like use the snoo because it is magical it's fantastic so we decided to pull 400 dollars out of our extra giving to help cover the cost of the snoo just because we plan to use that to bless our friends so we actually have a friend who's having a baby when peter turns like six months so we already have told them like you're getting the snoo we're giving it to you so i'm really excited to be able to do that for sure so the next thing that we have is vacation and we actually didn't put anything to vacation this month because we added um money to extra things to like the snoo and then i'll also show you what else so i just didn't put money to vacation this month but we are putting more to it next month then we have Christmas. We're putting $50 a month into Christmas, and that way all of Christmas expenses will be covered by the time that December rolls around, which is great. 
And then we have car maintenance for $75 we put into every month and we actually spent $17.05 this month on little car maintenance things. So we now have $31.57 in that fund. Next we have is car replacement. So this was like the big thing that we were working on um, this month that actually just ended. So we put $779 into this fund and we spent the remainder $6,400. So we actually bought a um, 2013 RAV4 from family. We bought it in July and we didn't have all the money to cover it last month. I mean, we did have an emergency fund, but we didn't want to use it. But they just like, were like, no, you're totally fine. Just, you know, pay us whenever you can. And so we bought it in July and just finished paying it in August. So we were in debt for a month. So we paid that off. So that's, that's what the remainder of that was for. Next we have is house maintenance. We put normally 350 into house maintenance, but this month only did 100 to be able to have more money to finish paying off the car and then also put money to the snoo. So we have um, $797.12 in the house maintenance fund. Then we have household. So we normally put $100 into household, but we ended up having a few additional household expenses this month. And so we I put $240.65 into household. We spent 449 and and these are all things that are like usually consumables for the household like toilet paper and soap and those sorts of things but we also had to buy a router for um internet as a or maybe it's a modem i think it was a modem but that was in itself was like 160 dollars i know that you guys are living that work from home life and we <laughs> realized we needed better internet so we bought a new modem to help and it's definitely been a great help so that was a big cost in that. So we actually are negative in this fund, negative $177.19. And the way that we work our sneaking funds is I keep our emergency fund in one account with Ally Bank. And then I take the total of all the rest of these little sneaking funds and I keep the grand total in a savings account with our regular bank. And that way I can just use my spreadsheet to know how much is in each fund instead of having like a special account for each line of things that we're saving for. So therefore, even though we're like negative in this fund, I don't have a bank account that's negative because it just all nets out, but I don't love for that to go negative. Yeah, not great, but we'll, we'll get back up to positive here soon. So the next thing that we have is our baby fund. We normally put $100 a month into this, but we put more into it to cover the snoo. So we used our baby fund and also the extra giving to cover the entire cost of the snoo. It was around... I think it was around a thousand dollars once we got like the discount for it and everything because it was on sale um so we pulled from baby fund and from the house and the get extra giving fund so we now have 181 dollars and 27 cents in our baby fund and that's will cover everything like diapers clothing any sort of thing that we have to toys anything that we'd spend on for baby so that is a look at our full budget. As you can see here, our total out equals our income. And so we have a zero based budget and every dollar has a name. So that is where we spent every dollar. But now I also wanna show you our net worth update for this month. So the first line item that I have here is retirement. So we put in just a few hundred dollars into retirement um, because I wasn't receiving a paycheck. And so this is just basically what we've put into my husband's 401k. We also have maxed out our Roth IRAs already for this year, so um, we aren't putting in that much anymore. So we began the month with 61,400 and we ended the month with 65,226. So we had an increase of $3,800, which was great for our retirement accounts. Next we have is our house, and our, our house actually appreciated by $1,500-ish this month. I just keep track of the value of our house with Zillow, and so this is roughly, it gives me a rough, rough estimate. I know it's not perfect, but it gives me something to work off of, so that's what I use to keep track of my house. Next we have is our emergency fund, and that went up just a little bit of interest that we received. Then we have our extra cash. This is everything that we have on hand for our sinking funds, and obviously that went down because we spent so much paying off the remainder of the RAF4. Next we have is Peter's 529 plan. So we put $200 into it this month. So we ended the month with 387.80. So this is actually down. We've put $400 into it and it's at 387. So obviously we've lost a little bit of money on that. So, uh, I mean, he still has 18 years till he goes to college. So hopefully we'll recoup that by then. Next we have is Robinhood. So I use Robinhood to buy single stocks and I it's not one of my like main investing strategies right now, but it's really interesting to learn more about 
um, investing and being able to like trade stocks. So I actually grew that account this month. I started with almost $1,100 and then ended with almost $1,300. So that was great. Next we have is our HSA. We have a health savings account and this is actually what we've been using to pay for all of our medical bills related to labor and delivery. So this month we actually spent $225.63 on medical bills for my labor and delivery. The one thing that we haven't paid for yet is actually my hospital stay. We still haven't received the bill for that and I had Peter at the end of May. So it's May, June, July, August. It's been over three months and I still haven't seen a single bill from that. But I know that I'm reaching my max out of pocket for this year. So I know that I'm going to owe another like $2,200 from that. Next we have is the value of our cars. So first off is our Toyota Corolla. And we now have two 2013 Toyotas. But the Corolla actually went up in value $190. It's been going up like since the pandemic. I know that like used cars have been going up in value, which is super random because that doesn't normally happen. But we keep track of our car value with Kelly Blue Book. And so that is $97.95, so almost $9,800. Next we have is our RAV4, which is the car that we just bought, and that is at $14,326. That also went up in value $163, which is great. So our total assets and the things that we own is $577 and $577,000, no, $577,254. Wow, that was difficult, okay. Now for our liabilities, the things that we owe money on. So we have our mortgage, we're almost below that $400,000 mark. And then next month we should be below 400,000. So our house balance is right at about 400,000. And so we had an increase in, um, we had a decrease in the loan amount. And so we had more goes to the equity of our house of 657 ish dollars. And then we had owed $6,400 on the RAV4 still, and we ended up paying that off. So we now don't owe anything on the car. So our total liabilities is that $400,000. And so our net worth is now $177,168. I'm really hoping that maybe we could hit 200 by the end of this year. We hit 100,000 at the end of 2019. So that'd be great if we could hit 200 by December, that'd be crazy. So our net worth went up $7,000 this month. So that is an entire look at our budget and net worth update for the month of August. Let me know in the comments down below, how did August go for you? What was one thing that you totally rocked with your budget this month? I wanna hear in the comments. And also don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and check out my budget template with the link in the description box down below. And I will look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Bye.